Hey. How's it going? Good, how are you? Alright. So for everyone out there, could you introduce yourself to people that may not know you? Sure. What you do for a living? Uh, I am Patrick Morton. I own and operate Locked Up RC. I do everything for the business. <laughs> it's just me. No, it's not. <laughs> so we have to take a guess about how many trucks. Uh, not as many as you think. <laughs> I've, I've prefaced it for some people, they don't necessarily have to be there. Oh, okay, that helps. Um, I'm going to say all scales, 30. Oh, okay. Yeah. Doing pretty good. <laughs> Does that mean I have a lot or not at all? <laughs> to me, that's a lot because it's, yeah. it's about how much I have. Well, but you got to remember yeah. like, everything we make parts for. Yeah. About how long have you been in the hobby? Uh, I got my first hobby grade RC in the mid '80s with Gold Pan RC10. Yeah. 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 So, asking the hard hitting questions now. What made you want to start an RC company? Well, when I first moved to Austin with my first wife, she was doing a veterinary internship. So she was gone, intern, gone all the time. And I felt like I had two options in life. I could either get deeply into a hobby or have an affair. And I went with get deeply into a hobby. Uh, so I actually went out. Yeah, I went out. Well, you say that, but that was my first wife. So, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I went out and uh, I found the guys in Central Texas, Crawlers. Yeah. And they were doing a scale comp up at Mount Bunnell, and I had no idea what I was doing. I looked at the rules on the website that they had, and there were two sets of rules. There was like comp trucks, scale trucks. My brain just mixed everything. So I showed up with a comp wheelie. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. And it, it, it competed. Oh, okay. It did. Made it do work. Not the first comp, but, you know. Yeah. When I got there, I quickly realized how outclassed I was. Crawlers made a lot of modifications. Pretty well. So, a little bit of a tough question. You can answer, answer honestly because none of your customers are going to watch this video. Eric, what's the hardest part of running? Wow. So, for me, because of the size of the company, which is small, um, I basically have to change gears. I have to change gears so many times in a day that I, I feel like there's just not enough time in a day for me to sit down and really focus to complete things. So when you come in my office, it looks like it's, it's not straight. Yeah, it's, there's stuff everywhere. Because I'll get like 30 minutes to work on a project, and then I have to go to this, and then I have to go to this, and then I have to go do taxes, and then I have to do sales tax, and then I have to fix some coding on the website. Then I have to deal with the color issue in the end dots. Then I have to go fix the machine. Like, I hope that adequately displays. <laughs> so just, I'm wearing so many hats, doing so many things. Um, I don't really get to specialize in something the way that I'd like to. Luckily, I have some good people that help me out. So we're able to survive. So now the really, really hard question. Okay. Jeep or Toyota? I have a 2006 Jeep Commander and a 2003 Toyota 4 Rapid. So oh. I am unable to answer that question. <laughs> it's the first time I've had a boat. Yeah. yeah. So what's your favorite color? Blue. Blue. And what would be your go-to tire out of the trip? I am actually somewhat partial to our sequel to drive buckle. I don't know why. I have always had really good success with that. Damn good tire. So, two questions in closing. Okay. What would you tell someone getting into the hobby? Build your truck and just drive it as much as you can. Don't buy a truck and then start thinking about what you're going to buy for the truck. That's drive it. See what its weak points are, and then 
fix the problems as they arise. That's a big pet peeve of mine too. I'll see people order a tier explorer and it's not even in their hand yet. And they're like, what upgrades do I buy? Right. right. I yeah, don't drive the truck yet. Yeah, I don't know how you drive. Uh, you know, get the tires that you like, that you think you like, whatever. Tune the tires, tune the shocks, and then you know, go from there. Add weight where you think it's necessary. Don't just throw on 80 pounds of ice. Yeah. Yeah. What do you foresee for the future? For the future. Well, I know some stuff that we'll do in the future. Various wheel designs, things like that. Um, we've got actually some stuff over there. Okay. We're hoping to do uh, a little bit more, you know, we already have a lot of options for everything. I'm hoping to just make it ridiculous. It's almost where I still fear people when they have to design it because they're selling clothes. But, so a lot of the custom stuff that I have over here, I want to try to offer more customizations to things we already have. Uh, you know, like we do regrinds on rings, right? Yeah. So you can get to two tone. I'm hoping to offer some like recut services. So hey, you've already got a set of rings from us. Kind of want to change them up. You don't have to buy a whole new set of rings. Send them in. We can remill them, change the design a little bit. Same kind of thing with wheels. Um, that way, people can kind of extend the life of what they had up in terms of their employment by like kind of renewing things instead of because I mean, look, it's expensive. Yeah. To buy the wheels, you know. But if I can offer people a way to kind of tweak what they have. Help it find new life. That's kind of where I want to go in the short term. The long term, I don't know. I hope that we get to come do more stuff like this. Yes. Uh, I hope events like this can grow. All right, Patrick. Okay. I wanted to I wanted to give you a good spotlight in in an interview because sure. I've always loved and believed in your wheels. You got a great company that you run, and also a little dig to Josh and Vanquish is that you actually have a configurator on your site. Where you can see the wheel that you put together yeah. with the different faces, the different rings, the different inserts, and hardware, right. and how it's going to look. Yeah. yeah. And such a small company can provide that. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. We get we get a lot of questions from people like, hey, what do I need to put together? So it's like, yeah, just go down the list. Discount bundler. Yes. So it's good because it helps you get everything you could need, and it's better because everything in there is discount. Yeah. So, yeah. So you just go to that tab, the discount bundler, and just go down the drop down. Yep. And it gives you everything you need. Exactly. Yeah. Well, thank you, Patrick. Yeah, man. Thanks. Appreciate it. Good to see you.